From the heart of Wayne County, this is Wayne Goldsboro Television, Goldsboro, North Carolina. I'm Donald Sutton. And I'm Krista King. And this is WGTV Channel 10 Today, our good old Friday segment for... Krista, do you, do you know what today's date is? No. No, you haven't even looked at a calendar. Have I you? haven't. I'm horrible. Whenever you just have busy days, it's just a mess. <laughs> <laughs> this should be, unless I'm completely wrong as well, this should be the 18th. Oh, okay. Okay. I got out of bed this morning and I didn't have time to go to the gym. So I just went around my, my little block. I am absolutely beat right now. My hair is falling a little over here on the little floof side of it. It's, it's been a, a long morning for me. But I did about a mile and a half, mile and three quarters. More than I did. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yes. That is probably true. It, it is. Was, it was a lovely morning to go, though. It felt really good, to, in my opinion. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Which, you know, gorgeous is a very objective kind of thing. It, it, it always depends. It depends on how you like it. It does. It does. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. True that. And that goes for everything. Yes. So it looks like we've got some celebrity birthdays. Oh. You know, last last week we had Duck Dynasty. This week we have High School Musical. Woo. It looks like Zac Efron is turning 25. Now Zac Efron, he rose to fame as Troy from High School Musical 1, 2, and 3. And he actually won a Bravo Auto Award in 2010 for the best male TV star. Uh, he's also been in a, I, I loved him in a movie. I cannot think of what it's called. I've Charlie St. Cloud, he's in that. Is he in that one? Yes, it's amazing. In that one. Very good. It, this is the, the one I'm thinking of. 17 he, Again? Not, that was a good one too. Yes. I love 17 Again. He was, a, he was actually a, a veteran coming back and he had seen this girl's picture on the ground and he went over to pick it up and the lucky one. The lucky one. I was thinking Lucky Ones, which is a different movie, I believe. But the lucky one. That was a wonderful movie. It, it took is. me it took me five minutes to realize that this was not Troy from High School Musical. Yeah, yeah. This was Zach Efron. I in my opinion at his best. Mm -hmm. He was doing an amazing, just absolutely standing applause job. He's all grown up. <laughs> Our little boy was all grown up. So oh Lord. <laughs> We also have the Grammy Award winning R&B artist, Neo. Ooh. He's turning 33 today. Let's see here. He won the, the Held Hall of Songwriters the, Hall yes. of Fame 2012. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we had, we had uh, Daryl Hall. Uh, he was having a birthday last week, and he, he was just inducted in that end. I think that was the 2010 he was inducted. Mm -hmm. So 2012, Neo was inducted. So yes. round of applause for Neo. Good job. Good job. All right, we have Tyler Posey, who's turning 21, and he rose to fame as the role of Scott McCall on the MTV drama Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. How would you feel if you were a werewolf? I would feel absolutely terrified every time I transformed. Yes, um, kind of don't want to know how that feels. <laughs> that, that's not a dream of mine. Not a dream of yours? No. All right, note that Krista King does not want to be a werewolf. No. No. We have, I'm happy for this one. And I'm just astounded that he is still doing all that he's doing. Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry, he is turning, prepare yourselves. 86 years old. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. He's became one of the pioneers of rock and roll, releasing influential songs such as Johnny Be Good, Be Good Johnny, and uh, Maybelline. We have Jean-Claude Van Damme is turning 52. And then we have 
Pam Dauber. She's turning 61. She is most known for her co-starring position on Mork and Mindy alongside Robin Williams. Uh, that was a while back whenever he was doing TV. And now he's coming back for another TV show, uh, The Crazy Ones. That's what I was thinking about the, uh, the Zac Efron. I was thinking The oh. Crazy Ones. I'm so happy I didn't say that because Robin Williams, Zac Efron, two different people. You know, you've got one of them played Very Popeye different. in a musical. Yes. Did you know that? No. Robin Williams played Popeye in a musical. But he's amazing anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> and then we have Don Wells, 74. She was Mary Ann, on Gil Mary Ann on Gilligan's Island. And Chuck Lowe, who is turning 60. The writer, producer, and director of many shows, most famously, Two and a Half Men. I used to love that show. But then, uh, then, then some of the actors had some personal problems. You know, Charlie Sheen. He had some, some things going on. Everything like that. But I tell you what, Krista, we're going to talk a bit more about some other stuff whenever we come back. Here goes to Wayne and Kim with some few interviews. See you then. Have you heard what's playing at the Paramount Theater, downtown Goldsboro? Well, joining me today is Sherry Archibald, director of the Paramount. She's here to tell us what's happening. Hi, Good Sherry. Morning. We're excited to hear what's happening. I know you all are have a very busy schedule we this do. fall and into the, the holiday season, so we can't wait to hear what all you have. So if you'll give us sort of a rundown. Well, I'll be glad to, and we, um, it is very busy schedule right now. Um, we are booked every weekend until Christmas, except for the Thanksgiving weekend, so there are lots of things to share, and I, before I even begin, I would certainly encourage our viewers to look at our website, which is goldsboroparamount.com, um, because it stays updated there constantly, and there's also just some Details. information about what the event is like, what, what you can expect, how much tickets are, and all of that. But we are very excited about November and December is very busy with us and we're kicking things off in November with um, the first weekend, the first full weekend of November being the 9th um, is Miss Goldsboro Pageant. So uh, that's always just, as you know, you probably um, have had some a few interviews and I would, I'm hoping to be able to share even a little bit more um, through some segments later. But Miss Goldsboro just brings some wonderful talent to our community and so even uh, just coming to see the performance because you know you're going to get some amazing talent on the stage. And I will say for those that are interested in coming, Vincent will have information mm -hmm. on the Paramount's website about the tickets because it they go fast. Ha yeah, it, they and they sell so out. Quick and, and that particular event sells mm -hmm. out. Yes. And we very seldom have many tickets left at the door. Well, it's a very affordable way to be able to see some great talent right, too. So. Exactly. And people come from all over the state. Mm hmm. So we want to encourage our locals, especially if you're interested in coming, the tickets are $20. Mm -hmm. Um, and they can be purchased ahead of time and all the details will be on the Paramount's website Absolutely. so we do encourage people to come. And we are real excited about Stage Struck coming in again. You know, they have two huge productions every year. Oh, yes. They have a drama in the <laughs> fall and a, in the spring they have a musical and so this fall we are excited to bring um, Treasure Island oh, and they Stage Struck. in years. Stage Struck, as you know, just does a wonderful job. They um, work very hard with, with the kids, the students that are there, and they're ages 5 to 18. Um, many of them have been growing up in um, Stage Struck, mm -hmm. so they might have been um, putting on plays and musicals for 10 years, 2 years. But Stage Struck is wonderful about bringing uh, just very talented um, directors and choreographers into the scene to train the kids. Um, I was just sharing with uh, some of our staff, some new staff that mm -hmm. you know do, that don't know a whole lot about stage struck, that they are just going to be amazed when they see the talent on the stage. You, you really, um, to me, this one of the most surprising things to see because you just don't anticipate such a wonderful production um, from local community. Are amazing. They have some of the most talented local individuals. Mm -hmm that are wonderful artists mm -hmm. that really create sets that you would expect to see on a much mm -hmm. larger venue yes. stage, but they do a great job. And very often they are provided by the parents, but I mm -hmm. think what happens is those parents just become so um, invested just <laughs> invested in that particular organization that they stay. Even mm -hmm. when the kids have gone on to college, That's they're right. still there working hard and, and uh, people like Bill Royal just continue to do a, a wonderful job. Oh, so yes. that is um, the weekend of no November the 15th, 16th, and 17th. It's a Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday production. Just all one weekend. Uh-huh, one weekend, and they are also doing a school production on that Friday, so 
they'll have a full house for that. Um, so those kids are going to be very busy that weekend, but they have been preparing for quite some time for it, and so it will be a great show. So Stage Struck is providing um, uh, Treasure Island, so coming right up November the 15th, 16th, and 17th. Nice. Well, you know, and one of the things we want to make sure that folks understand is if you have a child mm -hmm. that you are interested in finding out more about Stage Struck and how to get involved, you can go to stagestruck.org which is their website, and they can give you details on what the upcoming shows are, when auditions are, and children are welcome throughout Wayne County and further boundaries. I Absolutely. believe they've opened it up to, to other communities mm -hmm. and, and other counties. So They provide scholarships website. also. They certainly do. They do, and um, they... Uh, I did mention that they have two major productions, but they mm -hmm. also have two very strong camps in the summertime. And I mention that now because it's something that you might want to think about in That's preparing right. your kids for the next year because it's a great way to just kind of prepare them to, mm -hmm. to see what they can get you know, into with right. stage It's track. a good, good foundation, good training mm -hmm. ground to get them prepared, if they, especially if they haven't ever oh, participated yeah. in some of their shows because it is very much a commitment. Yes, it is. For the family, not S just the child. Exactly. And it's usually anywhere from 60 to 80 students. That's right. So it is a, it is a stage full <laughs> yes, that are performing. Is, but it is one of the most life-changing experiences big impact. For, for young children that are interested in theater. So that is the 15th, 16th, and 17th, and then that following Tuesday on November the 19th, um, we have one of our movies coming up, which is a Paramount movie, classic or holiday movie, and so we're having uh, Miracle on 34th Street. One of my favorites. Getting ready to bring in um, the holiday season, of course, and so mm -hmm. this is just our second year with the movies, and they are really doing well. They people, really are. People are love they? it. Um, the it's crowds just, are getting bigger yeah, and bigger. And they're growing, and, and that's what we wanted, and it's been a steady growth. Um, and it's a different crowd, which has been right. nice, too, because then it's people that haven't been into the theater who are mm -hmm. coming to see other opportunities that they can come back. So that's been really good. That show starts at 7 o'clock, and we okay. do have tickets online, and it is um, $5 for a ticket. You can't beat that. You really can't. And then children 12 and under, it's free to get in. That's so, just a great family event. It a is. great outing in a beautiful environment. And it is. It's so affordable. It's the only, um, the only performance or show or movie that we have allowed um, uh, food and beverages yes. to go into the auditorium. We it was kind of our way of of starting to see how things would go if we can handle it. Last year it went really well. People were very respectful. Great. Um, but really, you, know, you just have to have that for, a, for a movie. movie. That's right. <laughs> so and it's worked out well. Yeah, it's worked <laughs> out really well. So we're going to continue with that as long as um, as long as the people are requesting it and it's working out well. So we're going to continue. Great. So mark your calendars. Miracle Absolutely. on 34th Street. Mm -hmm. And then for the North Carolina Symphony, that is coming up also. And one of the favorites and a tradition around here is oh, yes. November the 26th on a Tuesday night. Um, and of course, a Tuesday night because it, it has big meaning for us here in downtown Goldsboro. It's the night that we turn all the lights on in downtown Goldsboro. So we're excited about that. It's a, a little later than most of our performances. It starts at 8, but that's because the lights um, usually between 5 and 5.30 is when they turn the, the lights on. And there's so many activities going on in front of City Hall. We want folks to be able to enjoy that, to go to dinner, and then to come and see the performance. It is one of the most festive beautiful experiences mm -hmm. right here in Goldsboro. I know I've done it for several years mm -hmm. and it is just a beautiful night mm -hmm. to be downtown with so many different friends and family and the activities going on on City Hall and then you just come walk on down a little ways, eat dinner and go to that fabulous experience mm -hmm. and you really do feel like you're in another world. Mm -hmm. it, it's great. If you haven't done Lights Up Downtown before and then move on down to the North Carolina Symphony, it's well worth your, your time. The Holiday Pop concert is just a favorite and yes. um, it is a tradition and it's just one that our community has just embraced mm -hmm. and wants to continue with. We ask about it consistently from um, our patrons and they love that performance. So we've continued to bring it and we've continued to bring it in our series. So um, again, it's one of the favorites, but November the 26th at 8 o'clock is the Holiday Pops concert. Do they need tickets ahead of time for that? They definitely do That's because it I typically thought. sells out mm -hmm. and all of those are available on our website or okay. you know, right there at the Paramount Theater. We can provide those for them. $32 um, a ticket. Great. And you know, one thing that I heard somebody mention rec recently about the Holiday Pops is, you know, if you typically maybe the symphony maybe is not your thing, mm -hmm. when you, just like, for example, my 19-year-old son, mm -hmm. he goes with me every year, but the first year he's like, I'm not sure I really want to go hear a symphony, Mom. Right. He went, 
it's a different, it's a different, it's a different experience. twist on it and a mm -hmm. different experience mm -hmm. because you're hearing music you know uh -huh, and exactly. it's festive holiday music and now he's hooked. Mm -hmm. so, well, you good. Know, and so it's, it's a different way to experience the symphony sound. Well, and I think it's a, a really good segue into experience in symphony because yeah, absolutely. For, mm -hmm. for younger children, of course, um, Elliot is not so much younger anymore, right. but <laughs> some of those that are, you know, in their early teens, mm -hmm. um, it's a good way for them to get exposed to that and then to right. say, yeah, maybe the symphony maybe, isn't so yeah. boring. Maybe it's not so bad because it just just helped them to have that appreciation for it. Oh yes. So then they'll be back to really recognize and appreciate another form of the symphony in a different art. You're right. They'll be open-minded to mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Which takes a little effort sometimes <laughs> yes, for those teenagers. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> so we'll work on that. And then you know, of course, that leads us into Christmas and it leads us into the holidays. Um, and we are, are packed every day um, during the month of December up until Christmas. Um, Christmas. Well, and Thanksgiving was a little later this year. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, of course, is not until the 28th, and so um, as soon as Thanksgiving is here, we're getting we're getting ready for um, Nutcracker mm -hmm. to come in. The first weekend um, for Nutcracker is actually December the 6th through the 8th, so uh, it, it's coming very early, um, and we will have. Uh, that the first weekend the second weekend is christmas carol with center stage theater which has right. become a tradition yes, for them mm -hmm. um, and then the third weekend another part of the christmas holiday tradition is child of the promise which is a beautiful um, beautiful musical about the birth of christ and it's set in um, from the book of isaiah and it's it's just really a wonderful musical love the music oh, that's what i was going to say you know if you haven't experienced that the music in that particular mm -hmm. show will really put you in the spirit. It, it is some of the most, you get chill bumps, yeah. some of the most amazing, beautiful music and beautiful voices mm -hmm. from our community that participate in that it show. It is, and it's, you know, I have to say, um, someone someone gave me the CD to listen to, um, but I love the CD. I love hearing With our people. Our people. <laughs> I know, and I, you know, I'm, I'm sure that some of it is because they're so wonderful. I'm sure that some of it is uh, because that's what I've heard each year, but it is so moving, and you just do not leave there. It's kind of like that Dance for Christ that's experience. Right. Oh yes, you are not going to leave touched. there without mm -hmm. um, really being moved. So that's right. That's one of my favorites as well. Mine too. I love it. Look and forward to it every. every they they do season. that, of course, for a fundraiser um, for the pregnancy center, and so uh, every year they're kind of looking at it for the next year and trying to decide is this something that we need to do that we can continue doing. Uh, they obviously don't have a lot of funds that they're that they've got mm -hmm. built up in it because they give it all um, to, to the, the pregnancy, pregnancy center, center when they mm -hmm. finish, but. I think after the show, they're always so inspired by the by the feeling that they get from participating in that. They're ready to sign up for the years, you know, <laughs> ahead. So we do have them again this year. And one of the wonderful things too, these three groups, um, the Nutcracker being the first weekend, Christmas Carol being the second, and Child of the Promise being the third, all three of them are sponsored and, and hosted by three different organizations, yet they all three come together to provide a, a Christmas package. Okay, um, great. And that we are able to, because we sell tickets for all three of those groups we're able to provide that package through the Paramount only $30 for all three shows Oh my goodness. So you can be at that the theater for three weekends. Um, of course, you have options of Friday, Saturday, yeah. and Sunday, and you can choose which day is best for you each weekend. Um, but, you know, with the holidays being such a hustle and bustle and mm -hmm. busy time, uh, it's really nice to be able to just kind of carve in uh, those Certain dates. Certain you know you're going to For do three weekends, special. I'm going to mm -hmm. be with a family, and I'm going to watch something that is um, family-friendly and that is appropriate for the, the time setting and the holiday. And yeah. so it really is an, a nice way to come together for the holiday. So we're excited about that. Again, yeah, only $30 yeah. for all three of those tickets. And, and that package is online on our website, too. Wonderful. Now, but all of those shows there are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Mm -hmm. They okay. are. All three of them in Christmas, at okay. Christmas time. Great. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, you all have a very busy schedule. Lots for the Do. community to choose from. There's something for everybody. There is, exactly. There's something for everybody. So check out the, the website, which is? GoldsboroParamount.com. And see for yourself what is happening at the Paramount Theater downtown Goldsboro. Joining me today is Paige Lerner with Crime Stoppers of Wayne County. She's here today asking for your help to solve this case. Welcome to the show, Paige. Thank you. So tell us what's happening and how the community can help you all. Well, today I want to talk to them about a robbery that happened in Mount Olive. It was actually at a Hispanic restaurant and it is called Taquera La Moranita. And I probably butchered that, but it's the closest I can get. 
It is uh, located at 747 South Brazil Avenue on Mount Olive. Okay. And on October 3rd of this year, about 9.30 p.m., they had two black males um, go to the business at that 9.30 in the evening. They went behind the business and approached some of the employees and robbed the employees at gunpoint and demanded money from them. Um, after that, they fled on foot and they actually traveled towards South Center Street and the Franklin Street area there in Mount Olive. So the public is um, hopefully taking a look at these pictures and, and maybe their physique or something about their clothing will, will ring a bell with them and we're asking for them to call Crime Stoppers and give us any information that they might have. So the picture is not extremely clear, but at least right. you can tell the body size right. of the individuals because that's all we have right now. Absolutely. Okay, yep. so one more time when the date was? It was October 3rd of this year. It was at 9.30 p.m. and it's two black males. And so any information they have, please give us a call at that 735-225 number. You know, and again, if they just want to text, they're not comfortable talking to me, they can text me at 222-4230. All right, there you go. Crime of the week, we need your help. This one happened in Mount Olive, North Carolina on Brazil Avenue. We want you to give a call or a text to this number if you see anything that looks familiar that you can help Crime Stoppers solve this case. Thank you for being with us, and this is the Crime of the Week. All right. Awesome job to Wayne Alley and Kim Best and all of their interviewees. I think that's a lot of good stuff coming up in Wayne County. And we just, you know, as, as a high school student, you go to school every day. And I'm sure this same applies to you, especially since we go to the same school right. and know the same people. And, you know, you, you just talk to someone and you say, hey, do you want to hang out today? And they're like, yeah, what do you want to do? And you can't think of anything. You just can't. Story of my life. <laughs> Story of Krista's life. But if you just actually look, there is so much to do in Wayne County. There really is. We just had Taste of Wayne. We have wonderful shows at the Paramount Theater. Um... Wonderful shows like, I don't know, Christmas Carol 2013 that's going to come up December 13th, 14th, and 15th. <laughs> did I just say that? Oh, no, silly did. me. Silly me. I'm assistant directing that as I've had before. And I tell you what, we've got a great cast for that show. If you want to see more about that, go ahead and uh, check out Center Stage's website, CS Theater. That's theater with an R-E. Uh, I believe it's dot org. And uh, look at the cast list for that. We have some amazing people doing some amazing things. I'm really, really excited. I'm all anxious. Uh, rehearsals? Rehearsals are going to be awesome. They're, they are awesome. Let me just say that. The show's going to be awesome. <laughs> High five. Yes. Yeah. All right, Krista, do you have anything that you would like to talk about, touch up upon, et cetera, et cetera? Well, you mentioned how you do theater. I do. And you asked me a few shows ago about what I like to do in my free time, and I <laughs> want to know what you like to do in your free time, if you have free time. <laughs> the last time I had free time, uh, I was rocking back in a chair in 1964. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was a long time ago, if I do say so myself. But, uh, but no, I, free time is, is not really a big thing for the uh, Donald Sutton life. I get up at 5.30 every morning. I go to work, I get off of work, I go work out, I go to school. When I get off of school, I, I either go to work or I do some more studying, and then I go to theater practice. It is a, a busy, busy lifestyle, but I, I always find, find room for friends. My girlfriend, Casey. Hello. Uh, I always find room for everything like that. And stuff I do like to do when I do have time. I love to sing. I love to act. Just recently in Robin Hood is the character Alan Adele. Um, and I love to write. A lot of people don't know that, but I love to write. I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, actually, just recently, I sent in a book and lyric for a musical that I wrote over the summer. And I also got together some beautiful array of voices. I got my, my friend who's right up in Virginia right now doing a show. A wow. professional show. His name's Clifton Cuttington. He's doing a show with the music of John Denver. And uh, I got a friend of mine, Connor Shaw. The, the two of them and myself, we kind of did some music composition, and I had to send off a CD and that book and lyrics to Chapel Hill, UNC Chapel Hill, for a scholarship for a potential full ride. So uh, that's a Thomas Wolfe scholarship, and I know there's going to be some amazing, amazing pieces I'll be going against, but 
but I, I think it's going to be, even if I don't get it, it's just a great chance for them to see what I can do. The musical I wrote was called Damien. It's a, it's, well, I would like to say it's a great story, oh. but hey, who knows? It might not be. <laughs> but uh, I love to write. I love to sing. I love to act. I, I don't love to dance. You I, don't love to dance. I don't love to dance. I look like an intoxicated giraffe. Bless your heart. Yes. It's, it's a bad thing, really. Oh. <laughs> but, but I tell you what, whenever I'm told to dance, I will dance. Good. Dancing is fun. Let me say that. It's just not one of Donald's top qualities. Um, I would love to cook. That's something I would love to do. Well, don't ask anything from Avery. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask anything from Avery, if you yes. remember about two yes. weeks ago. Um, I don't have the patience to sit there. That's, I have patience and everything else, but I, I can't look at something just sitting there in, in a pan, kind of frying. I can't do that. I can make eggs, and I can make one mean bowl of cereal. Yes. And a delicious bowl of ramen, might I say, but segueing from ramen into goodbyes, which there isn't really a segue, but I'm going to make it like that. We are going to have to say goodbye for today. We have one more show, and then who knows what comes after that. I've been Donald Sutton. And I'm Krista King. Thank you for joining us.